Today I'll say a few things about twists and then we'll try side crow. Twists are magical. <laughs> if you remember how we're talking about the shake spine, twists aim to neutralize all the curves and elongate the spine upwards. It's very important to focus on that same axis while twisting. You don't want to twist and get out of place. You want to stay within that vertical, horizontal, diagonal line. What's important is to keep a straight spine while rotating within the same axis. To do that, it's important to stay grounded with the hips um, and when I say grounded I mean stable. It's true that with some uh, twists there's movement in the hips so it's not necessary that you're a hundred percent square with the hips but it's important to have that intention and that awareness so that you're not getting out of place. Let's go right into it. If we try the seated twist, bend the right knee under the left knee and place the left heel to the outside of the right knee. So here, as I was saying, you want hips to be grounded and you want to lead the left hip forward and the right butt cheek back. And you want to keep pressing the foot down because that will help you keep bringing the left hip forward and flexing the right foot will help you keep that knee grounded. If this grounding is not happening then you can always just place the foot to the inside so that you feel more grounded or even extend the bottom leg and keep the leg flexed so that again you keep bringing the pelvis back wherever you are. So choose your variation and again what's important is to keep the legs strong because that's your base. Once we find our base, our strong base, then you can, we can add the twist. The twist happens in all curves of the spine but as I said with the bottom part of the spine you want to keep it safe and then you focus on the upper part. Flex both feet, press the left foot down, bring the left buttock forward, press the right foot down, press right knee down. Inhale, elongate the spine, find the top back of your scalp, the foot being the point and bring it back and up. Exhale, twist to the left. You can hug the knee and then bring the back hand behind the back, even touching the right thigh if you're there. Let's stay here for five. Keep pressing the left foot down and bringing the left hip forward for four. Keep pressing the right foot down and right knee down, four, three. Bring navel in and up and twist upwards, four, two. You can gaze to the left, keep bringing shoulder blades down, crown of the head up, bring the point up, four, one. Keep everything as it is left hip forward, right knee down, and inhale back to center. As I always say, it's important when you get into poses and when you get out of poses to hold all the contractions, all the engagement, all the locks, because that's what's going to keep you safe. A lot of injuries occur when coming into poses and getting out of poses, so that's when you should be extra mindful. Let's switch legs. Again, choose your leg variation. 
left heel to the outside of the right hip and keep having that awareness of right hip forward, left knee down. Right heel to the outside of the left knee or to the inside of the left knee and again if the right hip is not grounded, extend the left leg and stay with integrity. Let's do the same variation, so press sits bones back and away from the knee. Press left knee down and bring right hip forward. Keep rounding the left foot, all three points are grounded, so keep bringing the right hip forward. Inhale, crown of the head up, bring the point back and up, draw the legs down and exhale, twist to the right, bring right hand behind the back, four five, press left knee down and bring right six point forward, four four, bring navel in and to the left, bring shoulder blades back and down and turn shoulders to the right, and gaze to the right, four three, stay within the same vertical axis while bringing right buttocks forward and left buttocks back, four two, inhale, short legs down, crown of the head back and up, and exhale, twist upwards within the same axis, four one. Root lock, stomach lock, stay with it and turn forward. Now let's talk about arm balances. In the next part of the sequence, there's side crows. Side crow is an interesting one and in some ways it's easier than crow. Crow pose is the introduction to arm balances and to feeling like you have weight on your hands. We'll talk about crow pose in another video. Uh, so what's important with all arm, all arm balances is that you keep pressing the knuckles of the hands down, especially the index knuckle, because that helps you ground the whole of the palm down. Otherwise, you have all the weight on the wrist and whenever we put a lot of weight on a joint, it's dangerous, it's risky. So keep pressing the whole of the palm down by pressing the index knuckle on the ground. The other important thing is to have chaturanga arms, elbows in. If you open up your elbows, you cannot access your chest and you're not using the strength of your chest. So it's important to keep the elbows in, shoulders back and down. And you find this <clears throat> strong zip in the body. Let's get right into it. So come squatting on the balls of the feet, bring hands to the left, elbows in, and press right elbow against the left leg. For starters, for beginners, you can also press the left elbow against the left, the left hip. That will give you more access to it. It's like crunches, but you don't want to stay with it for a long time. This time you want to hide chaturanga arms, elbows in, and keep moving forward with all the weight uh, all distributed on both arms but the body on the right tricep. Find your twist, navel in and to the right, shoulder blades back and gaze to the left. And start moving forward, elbows in the whole time. And see, you can maybe raise one foot off the floor, maybe both. Keep moving forward, elbows in, chest forward, shoulder blades back, moving forward. And you're 
in it. This is it. It will take some time to access this, but um, it's all about the compact body. Her legs back, her on the head forward. But all the rude engagements are what's gonna make you light. So slip it in, navel in and up, pelvic floor up, ribs closed, shoulder blades down, ooh, chaturanga. And then adding the twist. The twist is also something that might not be acceptable to you yet. So take your time, work on your twists. And once you have that one line twist, then everything is strong and stable and you don't need to work too much in it. We'll try the other side too. The legs are together and then you can also add other variations with the legs, but first work on your balance. So turn to the right this time, keep elbows in, eyes of the elbows forward, shoulder blades back, and you'll lose my head because there's a cover on my bed, but keep coming forward, the head is coming forward, knees up, forward, knees up, elbows in, and breathe. And with control, down back. Again, it's important to keep pressing down through the knuckles of the arms, but the most important thing is to keep practicing. And one day you'll get it, and one day you'll do other shenanigans from this, and then you can play with it. The important is to stay with it, believe you can do it, and then with time you'll get it. 